Hello and good evening and thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you here and an honor to be speaking with you and sharing time with you. Tonight I have a really, you know, we're just going to share with you some really great news. This is not going to be a real long webinar. We have some great news to share with you and information about our career development system, which we're thrilled to be launching in June and um, lots and lots and lots of benefits in store for you. So. I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Dr. Paul Rand. He is the Vice President of Seattle Research Partners and has been in the research business for a long time, has made some significant strides in understanding how uh, career development works, how people can get employed and find a job that's satisfying to them. And I'm going to turn this over to him right now and let him share more about that with you, and Dr. Paul Rand. Thank you, Barbara. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us this evening. I uh, hope to share with you some of the research I've conducted over the last uh, two years. Barbara asked me to uh, just give you a, essentially a brief overview uh, as it relates to a study I conducted uh, that involved over 1,300 hiring professionals, individuals who were actively seeking either promotions or new hires. Uh, it was a quite expansive uh, research endeavor. And she asked me, she said, you know, what, what could I share in terms of the research I conducted and uh, helping identify really the three best steps that individuals can take, uh, regardless if they're looking for a promotion, they're looking to get uh, hired or, or be, a, you know, as an employee or even as a consultant. So through this research and looking at the, uh, uh, the data, found very, uh, three key steps uh, that any per professional who implements and implements effectively and literally open the door to a promotion or a new hire opportunity within 90 days. Uh, and the first one comes down to having a, a well-defined and purposeful uh, strategic map. What we found in our research is, is that overall, less than 15% of management professionals uh, were able to create a map that demonstrated their mastery, autonomy, and purpose as it related to their own career plans. Uh, it was less than 15%. Uh, and, and so what we found is that the individuals, though, who went through a systematic process of identifying their purpose, creating very specific career goals, and not just setting goals, but actually went through an exercise of, of crystallizing those goals, uh, that they uh, opened up their career opportunities and their promotion by over 85%. And so again, the goal clarity is a huge component uh, to helping those individuals who have that strategic map to ensure that they are, are really headed in the right direction and, and that they're heading in a direction uh, that can open up those results very quickly. Now the second step that I found in our research is that certification right now is in fact the name of the game. Uh, professionals holding certifications uh, accounted for roughly 92% of new hires and promotion. That research has been double validated by the Society of Human Resource Management in 2010-2012 and then through our uh, ongoing research in Seattle on a seven-year basis, in a longitudinal study. So again, 92% of individuals that are being offered promotions, new hires, or contract for higher work hold certification. Certification is, in many cases, for a lot of jobs, even trumping uh, academic uh, uh, experience. Now, there's you. Know, I want to talk a little bit about certification because there's two types of certifications. You have what's called an industry certification which is a test uh, uh, measurement based off of your recognition of best practices as it relates to your experience in a functional vertical industry. So think, for example, project management, the PMI uh, certification, or even the PHR and SPHR for human resources. These are very uh, well-defined vertical industries that professionals will work in. Individuals who typically hold higher education and, and several years in management level experience become qualified to sit for these certification exams. Uh, they go through a rigorous testing process uh, to earn their credentials. The second type of certification is called implied certification. And, and there's a lot of variations, but I want you to think of more of a horizontal uh, certification process And that it doesn't matter what functional industry you're working in. It's the type of skills that you utilize and apply. And so we, we took a really in-depth look at certification uh, just because of a lot of the facts and, and, and this out there 
in terms of age, in terms of education, you know, what really amounts to getting jobs and earning more. And what we found is that individuals who uh, hold certification, less than 30% of them uh, have higher education but will earn over $65,000, it's 30% more than median salary, just by having a certification. Now those are our side-by-side -side control comparisons of individuals with the same level of education, experience. One individual has a, a certification, the other does not. Pay scale simply reports if you hold certification, you will earn more. Uh, the applied skill sets are increasing in demand from anywhere from 100 to 400 percent. Now this is huge because what employers are saying, uh, and this is being reported by Indeed.com and Beyond.com, uh, several monster included, that employers are looking for those individuals that have the capabilities to apply certain skill sets to better engage, better produce results. In fact, just last week, the Society of Human Resource Management announced that they are now moving towards an applied competency-based certification. The identical process uh, Strategic Learning Alliance offers. The world's largest member association, Human Resource Management, is literally backing the, the importance of applied certification, even over their own industry certification for human resources. Now, why we know this is important is because one of the greatest challenges that organizations are facing right now is the fundamental fact that the majority of their employees do not believe that their managers engage them. In fact, the Gallup poll is reporting that overall employee engagement and work is at an all-time high, uh, with over 40% of the, uh, the workforce actively disengaged, 60% of them directly pointing the finger at their managers and supervisors as having is lacking the, the fundamental skills to effectively apply them uh, to in terms of coaching them or training them and, and working uh, with that employee to produce better results and, and that's what's depicted here on the image on the screen and, and I'm going to come back and show you what we found in our research about applied certification uh, and why uh, it changes but essentially that when managers uh, on average are asked, you know, how confident are you to engage your employees? How effective are you at helping resolve uh, workplace uh, challenges, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or even with team performance? The overall uh, performance is less than 25% if an individual does not hold a certification. If they hold an industry certification, in other words, if they're a project manager, their confidence is roughly between 60 to 70% overall. Now, the individuals holding applied certification, though, have 90% confidence, and that's a substantial uh, gain. Now, what's more important as our research is we went back to those individuals, those employees who reported feeling uh, disengaged, and after their managers had uh, underwent earning applied certification, had gone through a period of re-engaging the workforce, we asked those same employees that were reporting uh, less than 25% confidence in their managers, those employees that were reporting 60% overall uh, disengagement at the workforce. And what we found was significant uh, turnaround, uh, as you can see what's represented by the red on the screen. Uh, the fundamental fact is, is that holding certifications is huge when it comes to earning an immediate promotion uh, or new hire. Uh, so again, that wraps up a little bit about what are certifications because there are different types, be it industry or applied. Uh, but again, employers, managers, uh, hiring professionals, even those that are looking for contract coaches, contract uh, uh, HR uh, consultants, they are looking for the applied uh, certified professional. Those are the ones getting, getting the jobs. Now step three, and looking at the, the over the 1,300 participants involved in this study, what I found is, is that the ability to know, to articulate your soft skills is hugely important. In fact, the SJI reports that the number one challenge that human resource departments uh, face when looking to promote and or hire externally is identifying the people with applied soft skill effectiveness. And what we found is that with that challenge, with 83% uh, of HR professionals feeling that the lack of awareness about soft skills, the lack of ability to even articulate and sell your soft skills through action, uh, it really represents a fundamental challenge because employers, again, as we look at those results from applied certifications, they're looking for the people that are willing to problem solve, that are willing to, uh, to think strategically, that are willing to 
uh, engage in a manner that is going to ensure that the organization is, is successful. Now, just to kind of recap, the three steps, what I've found is the people who approach their career development and really identify a crystallized and well-articulated strategic map with a purpose and goals, the people who make the investment earn certification. It typically takes about a three-month learning and an applied uh, process to gain a certification. And then the individuals who really are become adept at knowing the soft skills that they hold that are their strengths and can articulate those strengths, again, in terms of their ability of problem solving, goal setting, and uh, overall uh, team and, and uh, employee engagement, those individuals really uh, stand out uh, the, mess, the, the best. And so Barbara asked me, she said, well, what would you say is the one secret? And, and I would say, well, looking at the individuals who opened up career opportunities and, and looking at the entire population, the one group that was able to effectively open promotions and new hires within 30 days, the one thing that really made them different uh, than everybody else was their choice to be a learning leader. And what they did is they, they made the choice to uh, engage in a system of overall self-awareness, self-development, application. And those individuals, that's the one trait I found, as the true secret to being a, uh, a top performer in terms of opening career uh, uh, opportunities. And, and so, you know, I would share that with each of you, and I know Barbara has a, a plan to, to speak with you a bit about the Strategic Learning Alliance uh, in, in terms of the opportunities and resources they have uh, that are based on this research. But I would encourage you that all of you uh, tonight as your, your takeaway, when you think about your own career, if you're looking to earn more money, if you're looking to grab that next promotion or even maybe even transfer jobs, just keep those three steps in mind. Have a strategy. Make sure that you do it with purpose and very crystallized goals, which is not easy. Focus on earning certification. And be sure that when you do move forward and you do interview for those uh, promotions or new higher opportunities, that you are very adept at articulating your soft skills that really make you stand out. You do those three things, you'll open up uh, career and promotion opportunities hands down within the next 30 to 90 days. With that, Barbara, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you so much, Paul. That was a great presentation. Would you mind doing this, this small favor? Recap the three things, because what I heard was the important things to remember are having a map, which stands, oh, hey, yay, all right, which stands for having a map, which is the mastery, autonomy, and purpose, and knowing that and developing a strategy around that, having the certification, which is a third-party verified certification, not any certification. That's very important from what I understand. And also knowing your own soft skills and how to effectively communicate them. How's that for a wrap-up? Perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks very much. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is turn this over to my screen, and I have some things that I want to share with you about this uh, Strategic Learning Alliance. First of all, I'm going to uh, switch over to my screen here, um, get my control panel so I can do that. <laughs> all right. Okay, so I'm showing my screen. You should be able to see it. Looks like we have a question here. A definition for soft skills. Okay, we will do that in a moment. Okay, so right here we have our uh, our home page, and as you can see, we have a SLA overview here. If you if you want to come to that, if you come to the home screen, you're going to see at strategiclearningalliance.org that we are really concerned about. I guess not just concerned, but we love learning. And I know people that love learning are truly some of the most inspirational people on the planet. We also apply our learning and are committed to demonstrating that we can apply what we've learned. And and then finally, of course, providing the certification that is third-party accredited so that it has and carries weight with it when you go for a job interview. 
And so on that home page there, if you click on the fourth button, you can watch our little overview there. All right, um, that's one. Uh, secondly, I wanted to show you where our free webinars are listed. We have some more webinars coming up. If you ever want to join another webinar, you can do it right here under free webinars. We talk about our certified professional negotiator and our, our coaching course. And uh, Dr. Paul Rand is going to come and present again, Three Steps to Professional Success. And we'll be covering more about our career development system, which is coming. And I'm going to share with about that with you in detail. But first I wanted to cover what it means to become an SLA member and what is included in, your, in a membership registration. We have uh, in our membership registration, one of the first questions that's asked here is it, it's a, a career development overview. And it talks about, uh, you know, why, why do you want to have a career development strategy? Why do you want to have um, the mastery and the autonomy and purpose, right? So you, you can learn a little bit about our career development program there. And then another one of the benefits is we're creating this as a course, and we're going to have this and market it to people that are unemployed or looking for work. Okay, so we're getting ready to do that and roll out that marketing. Here's the great news. If you are a member in a good standing and you are a certified professional coach, you may have an opportunity to get some coaching clients through Strategic Learning Alliance. Um, so and the goal is, is for us to bring in people that are looking for positions, help them discover their mastery, autonomy, and purpose, help them to identify their soft skills by using the improved employee soft skill report, help them to develop a vision statement as a coach, and then uh, help them to create a resume that will actually land on somebody's desk. Now, what we've just done there is we've helped somebody get in alignment with their purpose, construct their resume so that they will get a job that is fulfilling and takes advantage of, of all their self skills, soft skills. So it's... Uh, a really powerful system, and I, I think Paul mentioned that 89% of the people that came through the career development system were able to be employed within 30 days. So I'm going to say that again because it's really important. Within 30 days, 89% of the people that came through the career development system were employed. How cool is that? So let's say you go through and you learn how you go through the course and you learn how to help people get employed within 30 days. Do you think that's going to be great for your marketing? <laughs> how about for your coaching business? Do you think you'll get some referrals? <laughs> right? So it's a, a incredible system. It's a great opportunity for you to join and learn more. That's one of the benefits of joining as a a paid member. So the membership is 195 and you get the career development system you get two complementary assessment tools I'm going to show you those in a moment you get access to learning sessions and I'll, sh I'll show you where those are on the blog you also if you register for 195 we're going to give you five dollars <laughs> you'll get a two hundred dollar scholarship towards earning your credential so if you're not already sporting a credential you want to earn a credential when you register as a member, and I'll go down to the fine print, it's not so fine really. When you enroll in one of our applied learning courses, our CPC, CPN, HRA, or CPL, within 90 days of registering as a member, you will, we will apply that 195 and an additional $5 to your tuition. So that would make currently the Certified Professional Coach tuition is $995. That would make that $795. So, that's a nice benefit as well. And also, for everybody that registers during the month of May, we are giving a veteran sponsorship into the career development system. So what does that mean? That means you're going to help a vet find a job. You're going to have a vet make a transition from military to civilian life. And another thing it means is we have volunteer opportunities for people that are for coaches that are interested in volunteering to um, to coach these vets this will be an opportunity for you to be of service to give back 
Now, I mentioned that we will be looking for coaches to coach some of the people that come through that are want to go through the career development system and have a coach assist them. Those people, we will be looking for coaches that understand the career development system, that are certified professional coaches in good standing uh, with the SLA. And uh, it'll be kind of like having a paid lead because we will be paying you to do the coaching. And you will have the opportunity to close your client into further coaching. So it's like getting paid to get a client. It's kind of cool. Um, all right. Uh, so I think that's enough on this page. I think it's pretty exciting, everything that we're doing here. Um, let me go ahead and go over to the membership area because I just want to give you a, a, what do you call it, a sneak preview. <laughs> The sneak preview in the membership area. So let me get there. And um, here we go. All right. So this is the membership area. When you pay the 195, you will get access to this area, which will show you we have a, a membership packet that's in here that explains about Strategic Learning Alliance membership. And you just click here and you'll, it'll open up a new window and you'll be able to read about all the information about being a member in the SLA. You will have access to two assessment tools. Here, here they are here, the Chorus Values Assessment, which is a personality assessment. You want to think of it as a personality assessment here. So you'll learn about how you can use the Core Values Assessment which is here, like take your assessment, share it with four of your clients, and then submit your reflection on how on the value of the assessment for you as a coach. There's also a handbook down here. Now, here's what I want you to know. These assessments are $50. <laughs> so you're getting a $50 value for the assessment that you take. And if you can share it with four of your clients and, and learn about their personalities within minutes, that's $200, that's $250 value. And down here, the Core Values Handbook is $325. So that makes it $575 worth of value in this program, Just and then we're, we're giving it to you for $195. Crazy good. Okay, that's the personality assessment. The other assessment you have here is the improved employee assessment and the improved employee assessment gives you a report on soft skills it's really fun and very accurate and uh, you know takes takes 10 minutes to do the assessment when you're done with the 10 minutes they nail your soft skills <laughs> so <laughs> it's really fun to read this too so we have the career development system report here for you to read we've got the IE system and then a place for you to again to submit your reflection on the value of that tool um, so this is the this is the membership area that you'll have access to when you join as a member, and also we have the blogs for you that are educational videos. Um, as we mentioned before, these are kind of our featured blogs here, and underneath we have blogs and information for each one of these categories that you can come and, and look at. Um, like our career development system is here, HRA, CPN, CPC, leadership. All of these different uh, areas are, have information, again, to learn more about them. So let me just share a little bit while I'm here uh, about our human resource associate. If you are a non, if you are an, uh, an exempt employee and you want to become a non-exempt employee or if you are a hourly employee and you want to become a salaried employee, the best way to start and get your foot in the door is with the Human Resource Associate credential. That will get you in the door as a human resource professional where it's right now there's kind of the conundrum when you want to become a human resource professional you have to either have experience <laughs> right, which is hard to get if you can't get in to get the experience. So the HRA really makes a difference there. We have our Certified Professional Negotiator uh, credential, which is great for anybody who's working with vendor relationships, uh, union relationships, um, s working in sales, managing teams. Uh, the negotiator is a great credential to have and gives you a great skill set in those terms. Uh, certified Professional Coach, the coaching uh, credential will help you learn how to coach individuals and is a 
powerful tool for transformation. Leaders, the leadership program, certified professional leadership program, is, a, you know, some people like to say leadership is a choice. And choosing to become a leader is a choice. And our leadership program says that you, you know, you must have the CPC, the CPN, or the HRA to become a leader. You want to show that you are a, an applied uh, sorry, an applied learning professional showing that you can apply your learning and demonstrate what you've learned. So um, then we have our career development system, which I mentioned before. So what I'm going to do now is open this up to any questions and see if uh, see if see see what happens. So I have a comment here from MK. She says her soft skills test was 90 to 95 percent accurate for her. And I think that you'll find that true for you. It's it's almost creepy because you you take an assessment, which is about ten minutes, and they chunk out uh, your soft skills, and it makes it. <laughs> it's like how do they do that? <laughs> but it's really great, and the the accuracy is off the charts, and the uh, CVI, the Core Values Index, which is more like a personality assessment is the same. It's accurate and stays accurate for years. And I imagine the reason why it does stay accurate for three to seven years is because a person's core values just don't change that often. <laughs> um, okay, I got a question from MK. She says, is there a recommended order to take these certifications? Like, should I take the CPC first? And I don't believe there's an order, but as I mentioned, if you want to do the leadership class, you do have to have a prior credential. And um, you know, I Marvin, think I, I can yeah. speak to, to both uh, MK's questions. Uh, so, so first off, having researched both of these assessment tools, and I want to point out that what's powerful about joining the Learning Alliance is that you not only take the assessment, but as a member, you get to utilize the system supporting each of those tools. So for the IE, not only do you take the assessment and get your two-page soft skills summary. Again, this is art articulating and identifying with the overall statistical accuracy of 94%. Uh, this assessment will give you a two-page report that identifies your communication, your goal setting, your thinking patterns in terms of your applied soft skills. So it's all strength-based. There's no wrong answers, and that's a fundamental part of why it's so accurate. But what's even more powerful is when you join the Alliance, you get to utilize the IE system when you share that assessment with uh, five or six other individuals it will give you up to 24 pages of reports for how to best coach, negotiate, manage, or train those individuals based on their strengths. And we know that's important because of the Collins research from Harvard back in 2005. Great organizations focus on who first. They focus on leveraging individual strengths. And the IE system that you get the access to, uh, you know, regardless of your position and role, it gives you just massive in-depth data for how to best engage those individuals based on their unique strengths. And so powerful tool, 94% uh, overall accuracy uh, was rated at increase in confidence to coach and manage or negotiate with others by over 90% as well. Uh, the CVI, as, as Barbara touched on, because it is not a personality, it's cutting through the personality and looking at the core values of the individual. I've studied this uh, dating back to the original study was in 1999. Uh, and what we found is that in often cases, uh, this goes beyond being accurate for three years. We, we have outliers ranging seven to ten years. Uh, the only reason we haven't validated that as an independent research organization is we still need probably another couple thousand uh, people uh, globally to go through their CVI before we'll, we'll be able to validate the accuracy at, at, at seven to ten years. And, and let me tell you, I've researched assessments, doctorates in psychology, I've never come across a tool that can cut through the personality, identify uh, an individual's unique core uh, principles. And, and what's great is because they not only give you the assessment, but by joining the alliance, you get the handbook. And, and that's what's really key, is learning that language, helping engage other people, and utilizing that handbook and that common language, uh, whether it's in an interpersonal and family setting or a professional setting absolutely powerful, and I know when you join the Alliance, you, you get some videos about how you can utilize uh, the CVI, uh, depending on, on the type of professional role you hold. So again, powerful tools. Uh, now, when it comes to career development, having worked in that, that sector for a number of years, okay, what I would tell you is this cut, gets back to step one.
step one is knowing your purposeful strategy. The key for professional development is knowing who you are, where you've been, but more importantly, what are your strengths and where you want to go. That's one of the values of the CDS program that is also offered uh, with the Alliance now is, is step one, before you even commit to a certification, really go through a process of identifying your career uh, uh, experiences and where you want to go. Uh, and that will help you an, uh, identify which of those certifications uh, is, is best. Okay, hi, sorry about that. My microphone was muted. I'm back. <laughs> um, thank you very much for that, Paul. That was a, a great information. The next question that we had was, does it matter what order I take these certifications in? No, and again, that's what I was uh, addressing, is start with the strategy. Uh, join the Alliance. Identify where you want to go where you've been, but again, more importantly, where you want to go, what's going to give you more purpose in your life, then you'll be able to uh, review the websites, the HRA, CPN, CPC, and really identify which is the first best uh, opportunity uh, for you to earn a certification that will open up uh, go forward immediate opportunity uh, based on who you are. Thanks, Paul. Okay. Um, that's right. So CPC <laughs> strategy, then more. You're right. You want to figure out what your career strategy is before you jump in and, and get more training. Um, Belinda has a question. Um, she is a certified coach through uh, and graduated in January of 2013, which puts you right on the edge of being grandfathered into the Strategic Learning Alliance. You are already a, uh, a credentialed professional, Belinda, and um, you're asking, do I still need to get this certification? And I'm not sure which certification you're referring to, so if you would go ahead and give me a, a hint in the chat box, that'd be great. Um, I, I think that there was something that, that you brought up, Paul, that's really important, and that is that, you know, we know that earning a credential <clears throat> is a big investment. It's financially an investment. It's also an investment of your time. And I think that was a great comment that you just had on, you know, making sure that you're heading down the right path before you get started. I just want to share with you, you know, we've trained over 5,000 professional coaches through Wainwright Global, and I've personally trained a lot of those classes myself. And what I found is that about 50% of the people that come through the coaching program uh, and as you know, one of the things that we do in our coaching program is we set goals and we, we establish a vision of where we want to go for our clients, right? About 50% of the people that come through the coach training get asked questions. In other words, they get coached for maybe the first time in their life. And when that happens, they have an aha moments left, right, and center and realize that they don't want to be a coach. They want to do something else that's more meaningful and more in alignment with who they are. So <clears throat> that's my experience in reading the vision statements that 50% of the people that come to this training thinking that they want to be a professional coach end up with other goals and dreams and desires and career aspirations than what they originally thought when they walked in the room. So I'd say it makes a whole lot of sense to have and jump into the career development system first so that you make sure that you're heading down a path that is in alignment with who you are, with your holistic whole person, with your body, spirit, soul, and mind, making sure that all of that is in alignment. And then, by then, you will figure out which is the best for you and what makes the most sense for you. Now, Having that credential, as Paul mentioned, is going to help you out a lot when it comes to your career development and your income. It's also, it was also shown, and I, I believe it was a 2013 study, so about a year ago, that said people who have a credential behind their name, and, and these credentials are official, um, they're trademarked and registered, these, uh, having a credential behind your name gives you the opportunity to earn up to 30% more because of your credential. People respect and companies respect the fact that you have, now this is the third party 
applied learning credential, by the way. So uh, companies respect that you took the time, you were self-motivated, you went and you got educated in an area, you went through an intensive program, you proved that you could apply your, the, everything that you learned, and, and now you are a credentialed professional. And, of course, that's going to add to your credibility and your confidence level and your ability to be effective in whatever it is, area it is that you decide to go into. So there's a lot of value there. Okay, um, MK says so she used to want to be a therapist. Now I only want to coach <laughs> after being coached. I understand. It's once you've been coached and you see how powerful and transformative it is, it's something that you know everybody wants to do. We have about three people out after every class that say they'd love to be, become a trainer of this process because it's so powerful. And, you know, we know. That's why we love it so much. <laughs> Okay, um, if you have any questions, you want to go ahead and get them typed into the chat box, that's great, that's great. I just want to say, um, this membership fee is going up June 1st, so you've tuned in at the great time. In June 1st, it's going up, I believe, to either 295 or 390 I think it's 395 and um, so it's a, you know you're getting in at a great time to save money on the membership. You're going to get free access to the career development system. You're going to have access to the CVI and the IE test. You'll be able to share them with your clients and you know learn more about your clients. You'll gain valuable tools. Now let's say let's say you were working as an HR consultant or you wanted to go to a company and do coaching. Imagine how effective you would be if you ran these you know 10 minutes surveys for these people and had your 24 page report so you could fully understand your client and how to coach them and understand their core values and make sure that they're even in the right place when you're working for a company, right? So I think there's a tremendous value here. I hope that you understand and see the value as well and that we see you sign up as a member. You can do it right here on the website with a uh, click by clicking the register now button and you will have access to these great tools and also June 1st we're rolling out the career development system. You'll have access to that as well. So um, I'm check and see if we have any more questions and if not I'm going to say I hope you have a great rest of your day and I want to thank you for joining us. We have from Walter Shepherdson says the CVI is phenomenal an incredible tool. I know. <laughs> I know it's so exciting. The great thing is with this 195 membership fee you get full access. You're not getting just the report, you're getting the rep the 24 page report which is the full you get the access to the full blown system. All right, you're welcome, MK. Thank you. She says everything's much clearer now. I'm really, really glad to know that. Um, appreciate that very much. So uh, if there are no other questions, I want to thank you for the wonderful comments. I appreciate that very much, and it's been a pleasure to be here speaking with you. I want to thank Dr. Rand again for joining us this evening, and uh, wish you all a great rest of your night. All right, you're welcome. No more questions, so I'm going to close it down. Good night, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Bye now.